Wiradjuri people as the traditional custodians of these lands. The women of these tribes played vital roles as gatherers, creators, nurturers and storytellers, guiding and supporting their communities just like you do today. I appreciate those who cherished our lands and waterways preserving stories through art and the pioneering business women of this region. I am grateful for the opportunity for our business community to pursue their dreams on this magnificent land held by the Burupai people. Hastings Businessmen's Network has been uniting women in the Port Macquarie Hastings region since 1999. HBWM is a lively and engaged network that organises frequent networking events, professional development opportunities and supports mentoring, sponsorship and fundraising initiatives. Inspiring members to achieve their goals, dedication to growth and development, providing a sense of belonging and remaining relevant to the needs of our network and the community. The HBWN operates as a not-for-profit organisation run entirely by volunteers. Any excess revenue generated is reinvested back into the local community. While fundraising is not our primary focus, the network has supported the local community by raising funds through a portion of ticket sales at specific community events, raffles and auctions, featuring prizes generously donated by sponsors, supporters and our community. These funds have been given back to local community groups including Liberty Domestic and Family Violence Specialist Service, Hastings Education Fund, Share the Dignity, Little Wishes and many more. I've been fortunate to lead the HBWN committee since July 2023, taking over from Kelly King. Our motto at HBWN is Women Supporting Women, a principle I believe defines our community. Kelly King's ongoing guidance and support during my nine month transition into the role exemplifies the remarkable women within our community. The committee has adeptly navigated changes over the past year demonstrating professionalism and confidence reflected in the calibre of women in our group. Our events have been successful with a focus on innovation and variety leading to great attendance and member growth. A standout for me has been witnessing Tarim Wright's emergence as a stellar MC, showcasing a hidden talent. I take great pride in the dedicated HBWN committee, the volunteers who tirelessly support, develop and foster a sense of belonging among HBWN members and each other. Looking ahead, our goal is to boost membership, introduce fresh initiatives and provide engaging opportunities for community groups and for growth. For HBWN members, membership transcends even event discounts, emphasising camaraderie, lasting friendships and shared enjoyment with like-minded individuals. This year, we aim to enhance personal and professional development, acknowledging the financial challenges many face and strive to deliver exceptional value and support to our community. It is a privilege to lead HBWN as president in the upcoming year, standing alongside inspiring women who have shaped our community. Thank you for your support. A message from Jenny Edmonds, Vice President of HBWN. When I first moved to Port Macquarie in 2007, I was told about the Hastings Business Women's Network and suggested that I join. I had just started working as the marketing and community manager at the Westport Club. I thought joining the HBWN would be a good way to meet like-minded women and get involved in the community. How bright I was. Gail Oxenford and Sue Reed were the two women who greeted me at my first event. Their welcome was warm and so inviting it was contagious. As I was introduced to other participants, I quickly recognised there were so many amazing professional women attached to this network. In 2015, I joined the HBWN committee as secretary and held that position until I moved to vice president. A key objective during this time has to continue to improve the inclusiveness, welcoming and supportive nature of the network. The many sellout events are testament to the objective and to the relevance of topics and speakers for our members. The committee is made up of volunteers, all professional women, not all necessarily owning their own business. The cross-pollination of women who own their own business with other professional women has helped strengthen the network, its membership base and sponsorship opportunities, such as Donovan Oates and Hannaford Elders and the Westport Club. 
The support for local community is a strong focus for the network. Sponsorships, membership fees and good attendance at events help cover the costs of running the network and events. Being a not-for-profit organisation, surplus funds go back to members. In addition to our network, helps women in our community through our community partners. Women who are fleeing domestic violence, who are at school and providing them access to events such as Luminosity, who receive scholarships to pursue their tertiary studies and sporting goals. As Vice President, the key element of the role is to support the President, other members of the committee and represent the network at various events. I found this particularly challenging this year after retiring and being absent from Port Macquarie for long periods of time. New ways to keep communication flowing for the committee has streamlined the efficiency of the committee and this will continue to evolve as new members step up to vacant positions. I wish to echo the words I gave the committee at our last meeting. Ladies, it has been an absolute honour to have served the HBWN as Secretary and Vice President since 2015. I've been in awe of the amazing women who volunteer their time for this incredible organisation, which is made up of a tribe of extraordinary females who together are trailblazers, disruptors and innovators. The HBWN is the benchmark for network groups in a region. We achieve this through the collective enthusiasm to make a difference. When the committee works as one, we achieve greatness for our members, providing inspiration and the tools for them to achieve in their professions. What is just as important, we deliver the environment for women to feel safe, supported, have a voice to be included. I wish the committee every success in taking the HBWN to another level. Best wishes to all, Jenny Edmonds, Vice President. Laura Fava has been the events coordinator with HBWN since March 2022. In 2023, we hosted 11 events, including two calendar launches at Chop and Chill at Mansfield Estate, a networking event at Billabong Zoo, two inspirational events at Blue Water Bar and Restaurant and Florence Jones, two professional development events at the Westport Club and Ridges, and one celebration event at Water's Edge Port Macquarie. An inaugural race day at Port Macquarie Race Club, as well as our annual International Women's Day and annual general meeting in March 2023. By far the most successful event was the HBWN inaugural race day in April 2023. Laura worked alongside a small cohort of wonderful and inspiring subcommittee members to organise and coordinate the event. The race day was a first of its kind for the network and she was proud to say one of the biggest sellout events to date. The organisation for this event was months in the making and a lot of elements for the day were planned. Laura was so proud on how successful the day went and everyone that she's spoken to since has given nothing but wonderful and positive feedback. One of the main things we strive to do within the network is to continuously host events that are not only exciting for our members, but are also to find venues that support the local area with a theme that is fresh and different. Laura found that one of the key elements that made the HBWN race day so successful is just that it was a first of its kind, never hosted by the network before. It was held on a Sunday at lunchtime and was a chance for our members to kick back, relax, unwind and network in a casual setting and of course enjoy a pump. As mentioned, as incredible amount of planning by the subcommittee was done to ensure that the day would be full of excitement with new ways to wrap off prizes, encourage members, businesses to sponsor and promote the HBWN and enjoy a networking experience that saw more guest attendance than ever before. Laura was asked what she was most proud of in 2023. She said, I am proud of the events HBWN hosted in the year that was 2023. We again saw our ever popular inspirational events explode with our biggest attendance held at Blue Water Bar and Grill in July. The emotional and inspiring theme of how to overcome life's toughest challenges saw our members and their guests move to tears in some of the most raw and honest life stories told by our speakers. During my two-year tenure as events coordinator with HBWN, I've always attended each and every event to ensure that the events were meticulously planned and executed. For our end-of-year celebration held in November, I was unfortunately unable to attend. However, with my fellow committee members ensuring the event went off without a hitch in my absence, I knew I had nothing to worry about. That is what the network is all about, working together and having fun along the way.
For the financial year ending the 31st of December 2023, we've had an increase in our membership fee income. Our event fee income has increased significantly also. Our community contributions have increased by over $8,000 and we enter 2024 with a strong cash position. Our aims for 2024 will include an update and improvement on our website and online resources to provide further value to our members. And we're also looking at streamlining our membership options and payments. Members include 103 individual members, 18 life members and 15 corporate memberships holding 48 members. We're incredibly proud to see a slight increase in our membership numbers, particularly amidst growing uncertainty in the current economy. With many Australians keeping an eye on spending, it's humbling to see that HBWN membership is still an integral part of this community. A renewed focus on member retention, along with a propulsion to consistently add value to the annual membership of our members is definitely a key driver in this. As we head into 2024, the membership role will be heavily focused on member connection, innovating ways in which to onboard new members as well as provide a solid foundation for members to connect and inspire one another is going to be a key focal point for the coming year. Poppy Connect will be instrumental in being able to provide this and members will definitely need to stay tuned with what's to come. Poppy Poppins were a success in 2023 as we saw the movement from morning coffees to an afternoon at Jimmy's Bar through our connection and long-standing sponsorship with the Westport Club. While this change was great, we decided that Tuesday afternoons could be a challenge for those with after-work commitments. In 2024, Poppy Poppins have moved to Friday evenings to round out the week and give our members and aspiring members the chance to relax and unwind with one another. Over the last year, our member base has stood firm and celebrates a strong corporate base, which gives us the best foundation for attracting new members. Continuing to deliver engaging content and strengthening our member base will remain a focus for the year to come. A message from Nick, our communications coordinator. Hi, I'm Nick Cook, and I'm over the moon to join the HBWN committee as communications coordinator in November 2023. Through a range of mediums this year, we've celebrated our members blooming, empowered each other, flown the HBWN flag at community events, promoted professional development and networking events, and rallied to fundraise, support, and nurture each other. On our Facebook page, which now has over 2,900 followers, the most popular posts included Sheree Bennett's trip to Sydney to meet Barack Obama at the Business Leaders Lunch, Ashley Sargison being awarded the Australian Small Businesswoman Award, our members' accolades at the Greater Port Macquarie Business Awards, cuddling koalas at Billabong Zoo, and all the colourful snaps from the HBWN Race Day. We've also used our platform to help educate on important topics like domestic violence services, financial planning, cybersecurity, and how to write a killer business and award submission. Special mention also goes to the various talented local photographers who have captured our magic moments throughout 2023. Tina Smythe was our Professional Development Coordinator for 2023 and in this year we saw two amazing professional development events that had members engaged and inspired both personally and professionally. Moving forward in 2024, our aim is to not only provide face-to-face events that will inspire our community, but to also enhance the offer online through our website and our members portal. HBWN entered 2023 with a strong sponsorship program. The sponsorship program allows for us to hold events, providing the opportunity for women in the Hastings to form strong business and personal relationships, fosters inclusiveness, and providing a platform for women of the Hastings to have a solid voice in the region. The sponsored events stimulate growth for the HBWN, encouraging new members, supporting current members, and ensuring a future development for the network. HBWN would like to acknowledge and thank the generous sponsors for the 2023 events. The continuous generosity from the event sponsors provides us with the ability to hold our monthly events and also support our local community. Kelly Carter took over the role of secretary from Charmaine Woods in October 2023 and has been finding a feat with her new role. Since taking over the position, she streamlined the committee members' reports, she's reduced the admin for minute taking and has ensured that the reports are presented and shown each month within the minutes. Kelly's organisational skills have kept the committee on track and disciplined, and she's introduced new ways to report, communicate and schedule. 
She says she's looking forward to supporting HBWN as she continues to understand the role and responsibilities of the secretary position. Thank you to everyone who makes HBWN such a special community. Our sponsors, our supporters, our advocates, the women within our community and the community that support us. We could not do this without you. Here's to another year of a successful HBWN.